We're family. We always will be. We don't need to see each other. <laughs> the Harry Potter 20th anniversary reunion is here. This is not a drill. Yeah, it's an almost out of body experience being back here at Leavesden. Behind the return to Hogwarts special were intimate moments between castmates, an extremely different Leavesden studio, rivals sharing a trailer, lessons learned, and complex choreo. Let's get back to Hogwarts. Number one. Okay, it's time to Accio the Tissues. It's really emotional to see everyone. It was amazing to see everyone again. It's, it's been a long time. Filming the special was a rewarding experience, not only professionally, but personally as well. You see everyone's faces and it's just lovely to be here and to share this anniversary together. Number two. Were there some time turners involved with this special? But it was like, oh, we're just, we're back here again. With the sword in Dumbledore's office. It very much felt like that. We all, even though it was 10 years ago since we finished. While it's been 20 years since the first movie premiered, you wouldn't have guessed it on the reunion set. It's bizarre, actually, how uh, sh how long it's been since we've seen each other and how short amount of time it took for us to be uh, old chumney uh, back again, so. The smiles on everyone's faces are pretty reminiscent of their early days. You know, all the memories of, of working here come flooding back, and it was, yeah, it was like it was last week. Even jumping back into their roles was simple enough. Kind of just walked straight in and did my bit. Okay, you yeah. come here. Without really looking around, as if like it was kind of back to work, which is weird. It was Ten years later. Number three. Well, we've sort of caught. A setting like this is perfect for making memories. Most of us have sort of either snatched little moments with each other before we've gone off to do this, that, or the other. That was it. Yes. He did us. Or um, had a little catch up now during lunch. This behind the scenes of Emma and Tom together making more beautiful memories got us right in the feels. Number four, everybody get to places. Orchestrating the choreo on the set was quite the task both for the actual dancing and for the filming crew that very impressively maneuvered their way around this magical set. Number five. Is this a reunion or straight up deja vu? There's also a couple of guys on the crew who were on the crew when we were filming, so that's, that's also cool. They... It wasn't just the cast who came to join the festivities. No one ever speaks enough about the crew that made it as well. Number six. And now they're all grown up. For some, it was a bit harder to process. It is a weird experience because you met them as kids. Not to me, anyway. Now some of them are married and they've got kids of their own. And it, my memory of them is locked. It's sort of locked in. But no matter how much time has passed, everyone was happy to see where everyone was in their lives. It's just been like a, a family reunion, literally. Hagrid! you got to remember, when they started, they were about eight. What do you think you're doing down here? I think the oldest of them was 11. Now they're big grown-ups with their own lives. A family is a family through and through. People have been asking me if it feels weird to see the, um, the family. Morning, Weasleys! No, it's not. It's 20 years ago. And who are you? And they've all grown up, as they should have done. It'd be really weird if they were still the same age. These connections are strong. Number seven. The classic tale, from rags to riches. Leaves Gin Studio wasn't always such an appealing attraction. It's really kind of strange when you drive up because it was once, it felt like there was uh, just a feel. But wait, why was it so different? Leavesden's totally changed. It's not what it was at all because it was an old aircraft factory. <laughs> Doesn't work yet. Do you have to come back to where it was actually taking place? You guys look great. How are you? you? This is amazing. <laughs> Albeit. It's been a bit more glamorized, isn't it, now, since when we were here before, but it's still really special. The Weasleys weren't the only ones to feel that way. The other thing that struck me is how much everything's changed. I mean, it looks completely different to what it looked like when we were here shooting. The whole studio is obviously much more glossy than when we filmed on it. Number eight, name a more iconic location duo. It's hard to put into words, really. Getting to visit two of the most special sets where so many emotional moments took place? Well, there's nothing like it. Like being in the Great Hall with everyone early was just incredible. While the studio itself changed, those sets are the real deal. I took a moment to just sort of look around the Great Hall and sort of take it in and try and think about the significance of it, of, of being back on there. Are you crying? Because we're crying. It feels completely different, apart from when you get on set on the studio tour, because they were the original set. Number nine. Can the Blacks and the Malfoys share a trailer? 
For the anniversary special filming, they did, and we can't lie, that's one trailer we would have loved to hang out in. No bad blood here. Number 10. Back to Hogwarts means back to school, right? It's been a while since the crew finished their time at school, but being back was a perfect time for a bit more learning. Take more pictures or yes. write things down more. Looking back, it's, it's quite nice that it's kind of documented as it is. Today we're talking about things which happened which I completely forgot about. Cherishing the moment was a common theme. Just suddenly thought for a moment, hang on, just recall where you are right now. Just take a moment. I'm quite bad at ever just having a moment and taking things in around me. Being on set again was also a reminder of just how far they'd all come. I think as, as a teenager, I was often felt quite anxious on set and felt self-conscious. So to come here and feel more grown up and more relaxed, it's, it's lovely. I wish I'd felt this way. I wish I'd felt this relaxed when I, when I was younger, actually. And it also just feels really nice to come back as an adult but with the maturity and, I suppose, wisdom that you, you've gained in 10 years. Number 11. So this was pretty much a common theme for everyone on set. Yes, it was very strange getting in the car and going back to Leavesden Studios. That's something I haven't done for a long time. That was a bit of a surreal start to the day, I suppose. The studio was just different enough that seeing it and performing there was jarring. It's strange. It's slightly disembodying coming back. Because um, it's been, for me, probably over, I don't know, how many years? Let's, 11 years? It feels rather strange to be back here at least, and to be honest with you, it's been a while. So a lot has changed. And it's been great seeing everyone old familiar faces. Especially now that their beloved set sees millions of people touring through each year. So much of it is familiar, but then also so much of it is kind of slightly different because obviously it's been turned into this, turned into this wonderful tour. Number 12. Who doesn't love a reunion? While an event like this would be overwhelming to film and experience, it was still a mighty good time. Seeing everyone was that was wild. It was really cool. I really didn't know how it would feel. I felt quite overwhelmed this morning. It was really surreal in, in, the, in that it didn't feel like it was, it wasn't unusual, it was great and it was cool. I've just been really pleasantly surprised by just actually, yeah, just getting to relive it all. The enjoyment was pretty much radiating throughout everyone in the studio. But it was like, oh, we're just, we're back here again. Kind of like watching your own kids grow up, you know. It was a very good 10 years. How full is everyone else's heart? Yeah, good times. The special itself and the behind the scenes made for a reunion for the ages. So it's, a, it's very emotional. It was a long time ago and yet it's all just incredibly familiar. What was your favorite part of the reunion? 